on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Hello YouTubers, it's me, Michael Brewer, one man, two dogs, reporting to you from Hanamal Bay on the island of Oahu in Oahe. As you can see behind me, uh, I've spent the morning snorkeling in one of the most spectacular snorkeling places I've seen. And I've snorkeled all over the world. If you get out beyond the reef here, uh, away from where the tourist hordes are, uh, there's some really great scenes to be seen. I have a new underwater camera and so I'm going to share some of those things I saw with you. I love snorkeling, I've always have. I, I feel just like one with the fishes when I'm out there. It's just such an experiential thing to do. You're just so in the moment, you almost have to be. There's just so many elements to contend with, the, the beautiful sights, you know, and looking out for the coral that you don't step on it or get scratched, and the, the currents and the tides and the waves. You've really got to be in the moment. Uh, when you're out snorkeling, you don't really think about much at all. And yet, I also think that snorkeling and being under the water is like a metaphor for delving into your unconscious mind. And when I'm out there, I really am aware of that. A lot of us are afraid to swim out into the depths. A lot of us are afraid to swim into the depths of our own unconscious mind. We've been taught very much to swim along the surface, skim the surface of life. Instead of looking deeper, what's inside us? And that's really a shame because we have real treasures to be experienced there. Just like out in the water, there are jeweled corals and beautiful fishes and rainbow colors and incredible sights to be seen. If you dare to go within yourself, you'll find the same. Inside of us are dreams and visions, memories, sometimes from past lives or from our own life this time. That's where your inspiration is. That's where your guidance is. And it's just too bad that our society is so, so geared to the material outer form of things and so little geared to looking in with what's in. In the subconscious mind, there are treasures to be discovered. Unbelievable treasures. And each one of us have it. If we would just take the time to quiet down and to look inside. How do you do that? Well, if you're not trained to do it on a regular basis and ongoing, then meditation is a good form to take to quiet the mind, to go outside your visual, your, your senses, your physical senses, to tune within and to look within. But there's all sorts of meditations. You know, there's, you know sometimes just riding your bicycle can be a meditation or snorkeling or running, or exercising, or walking, or sleeping. <laughs> Not really a meditation, but, but it's, a, it's a way to shut off your, the chatter that we all deal with on a regular basis. So don't be afraid to dive those depths. Don't be afraid to plumb the depths of your own being, your own soul. You're sure to find incredible treasures as beautiful as the beautiful fish that I discovered here on this reef and those are yours it's your it's your legacy it's the gift that God has given each one of us and it's what makes each one of us unique it's a place that artists come from to create their beautiful visions and music and sound and movies it's a place that writers envision their stories you may not think you're an artist or a creative person, but each one of us has a special place inside that holds all the answers to all our questions. You don't need to go looking outside yourself for help. You don't need to go get 
professional help. Everything you need is inside you. If you just can quiet down that chatter for just a little while and listen and to swim the depths of your own unconscious mind. Pay attention to your dreams. Those are often messages from the, from the unconscious. Very often, our unconscious sends us message through our dreams giving us guidance on which way to go in life or letting us know that, that we're in an uncomfortable situation or something that isn't un making us unhappy or that something's lacking that we want. Pay attention to the things that you feel an emotional response to, like art and music. Those can also be messages from your unconscious mind. It's like a friend that you've neglected or forgotten, a re an acquaintance that needs to be reestablished. And maybe in the beginning, it takes a little work to do that. Maybe in the beginning, uh, it does take a little effort to re-establish the contact and reacquaint yourself with your unconscious mind. But if you do, you'll have a friend for life and a friend you can count on because it's you. It's your higher self. So, I'm gonna sign off here and go out for another swim. And I hope you'll join me, both in the ocean out there and the ocean Here's One Man, Two Dogs, signing off from Hanamai Bay on the island of Oahu.